Sadi Cup and welcome to another Thailand Tuesday here for the Funket Pod. It's Tuesday and you know what it means. I'll try to talk about things here that are happening in Thailand and um, over the past few weeks, months, I've talked a lot about like healthcare and so on just because that's what we're experiencing here right now and I feel the need to give an update because things happened, things changed. So here's another update on the a plastic an anemia Still a difficult word, a plastic and then anemia battlefront here in Thailand. So I think the last update I gave here on the podcast was that um, uh, just right after being admitted to the hospital for the ATG treatment, the RATG treatment that's happening here in Thailand, um, in contrary to in the US where it's usually HATG. So here in Thailand it's from, from rabbits, while in, in the US it's from horses. Uh, research is, of course, diverse. Um, American sources say R is cheaper, but H is better, but who knows, right? So anyway, so the, the HTG treatment has been underway has, or has passed now, actually, like two weeks in the hospital, five days of like getting the, the, the treatment, like once a day, or like one bag of infusion per day, uh, additionally, with um, blood platelets also like every two days or so i believe and the revelate um medicine also every day so after five days they stopped like giving that that medicine that i guess shuts down the immune system i think um yeah so lots of side effects obviously um i know in coming depression but th th that's been the whole time with like all the medicine anyways but yeah so it's still there and um the limbs were swelling uh because of i guess all the injections all the time um sleeplessness like uneasiness anxiety everything that the doctor said before might happen or if you google then that's the, the typical side effects of the, the treatment nevertheless like Spirits were highish. Um, I think my last update was that I couldn't go visit anymore because the immune system was too much shut down, basically. Um, so they, they were worried that if someone from the outside come, comes in, bring some bacteria, whatever. Which is a fair point because the hospital is surrounded by like fresh, fresh markets. Um, so it's a fair point, I think. Mm. So, but then afterwards, like a few days later, uh, I could visit again, which was nice. Um, so they stopped giving that medicine that shuts it down, but now you have to keep it down, the immune system, so that your body doesn't fight. I, and I'm not really sure if I understood it. Does it fight the white blood cell production? Because the white blood cell production is what then hopefully helps the bone marrow to recover. I'm not a doctor, clearly, um, but why I'm I'll tell you why I say this in just a second. Um, so anyways, they then allowed me to come to visit again, uh, which is nice. So I brought all the stuff, um, I guess, uh, some, some food, some snacks, and so on. Uh, still getting lots of medicine, though, and then after a while, and still have, have to have someone there 24-7. Uh, and then after a while, um, I think then probably I, like... Yeah, so 10 days after it started, I think, um, the doctor came, checked the the, uh, the blood and everything, and then the blood platelet count. The day before, when, when the immune system was shut down, the blood platelet count was around 5,000. Like, a healthy people would have, like, 250,000. Um, on the next day, when they checked, it was up to 250,000. Like, like, oh, my God, wow, awesome. Um, fast, but Wow. And the doctor said, okay, cool, uh, you can go home now, um, just keep taking the medicine, I'll see you next week. Um, then we said, well, why? but I mean, yesterday was 5,000, today is 250,000, like, who's to say that there's no, like, fallback or anything, right? So maybe let's just wait one or two more days just to be safe, because we've been scared a lot before, like, if you listen to my first podcast after we discovered that, that disease, like... I mean, we were we were r driving like crazy to the hospital be because like of fainting and all those things. So uh, I thought they, I thought we're gonna like have the, the like uh, I know a, a dramatic death experience like on the way to the hospital. So now we're like a bit careful with the whole thing. So like okay, um, may maybe just can we just stay another day or two? And the doctor's like, yeah, 
sure, like I'll stay one more day or two and then we see. So then, okay, said and done. On that day, everything was awesome, like full of energy, like, yeah, oh man, uh, I'm actually bored here. Maybe I should go home now. Ah, it's so cool. Ooh. I'm like, okay, I'm going to stay here, check again tomorrow. Next day, check again. And then the platelets crash from, from fifth, to 50,000 to 20,000 again. And like, uh, then the energy was gone. We're like, oh God, everything sucks. Uh, I got medicine again, got a blood infusion again, um, platelets again, re- blood, blood as well. Um, and then the next day it, it, it then went up to 90,000 again. So it's like back and forth and back and forth, right? And according to all literature online, that's to be expected. That's just how that stupid disease works. But that the doctor said, okay, go home now without telling us like, hey, it's going to crash again. It's gonna, You need to tell your patient things like this. You can't just rely on your patient finding the information on Google. I mean, there's so much information out there that that's probably wrong or like anecdotal. Like, huh? can you just tell us what to expect maybe? So not a fan of the doctor in this case. Um, the doctor per se like didn't spend much time like explaining things during the process, which was really... I mean, you're fighting for your life and the doctor is, spends like five minutes with you. Like, I'm sorry, but what the hell? Um, so not a big fan of this year. Um, then so right now, out of hospital... At home with the family right now, um, I'm I'm not, like the doctor said like um got like everything needs to be like super clean of course because now the immune system is shut down so it's easy to get sick or you know, be infected of course so right now I'm about to get everything clean by a cleaning service everything disinfected of course as well um, before we then move move in here again. Um, there are two cats running around here, which if you watch the video, you might see them one uh, here and there popping in. And if you're only listening, that, that sound in the background that, that you hear sometimes, that's the cats jumping against uh, the mosquito net in the, the, the balcony door. <laughs> um, got to get the cats. I, I'll have another podcast on cats in this case, um, but got to get the cats ready, of course, also for that, um, which is a challenge. Um, I just got like new air purifiers or I ordered new air purifiers. I have now a cleaning robot as well, just to keep things also cl- as clean as possible while I'm at work, for example, so that the, the, the robot can just at least get like the, I know the, I know how to call it in English right now, the dust and everything that, that's just hap- uh, happening in like all the time, just to keep the, the, the room as clean as possible. Yeah. So that, that's just what I'm trying to do right now. Trying to avoid sick people as much as possible. Um, so yeah, that that's where where I'm at right now. A bit challenging, but uh, I mean, so far I don't want to say so good, but I mean, progress somehow. Right? Thing is, um, we met a few people who also had the disease in the hospital, obviously, and then get talking. And then one lady who was like in an advance, like the, the treatment was like further down the line already. Um, <laughs> And she came visiting and then she said, well, she got that immunosuppressant um, medicine, but her body somehow didn't didn't take to it that well, so she couldn't handle it. She got, she felt like terrible all the time, got sick all the time. So then the doctor stopped giving it to her. Um, But then she got an infection and now she lost eyesight on one of her eyes. And that's not things you want to hear. But so far, we haven't seen those, any terrible side effects besides emotional side effects like one day everything is awesome the other day everything sucks and is terrible and oh my god so it's a roller coaster like it's very exhausting of course but um more so for the person suffering from it obviously rather than the family and a uh, close circle uh, but yeah so that's that's quite interesting so let's let's see what's going to happen uh next in this regard next doctor appointment is in a few days from now so let's see how the blood stats turn out then um, yeah, and I'll, I'll, I'll probably have another update in a week or two. Uh, again, if you have any experience, if you went through it, if you know anything about like aplastic anemia, AA treatment, um, shout out, happy about any information that's out there. Um, I'll also have to, just to uh, swerve you for a Thailand Tuesday, I also have to go to the immigration to renew my visa probably on Monday or Tuesday, like in my t- 
it expires on Tuesdays. I'm going to go on Monday. Um, guys, this week I'm just busy uh, cleaning everything and, and, and buying stuff and spending money on cleaning stuff. Um, so yeah, that's that's what's going to happen. Um, also, then maybe next time in a Thailand Tuesday, going to talk a little bit about politics because election time is upon us. Crazy things are happening. New parties are forming, have been formed. Um, swerves, are, no, not really all sorts coming. <laughs> but um, people I keep running for office even though they weren't supposed to run anymore, uh, <laughs> which is going to be interesting. So I'm going to try to have like a quick breakdown on this year as well so that you get more Thailand information and not only health health issue updates, of course. Um, so that's going to happen in the next Thailand Tuesday, which is going to come probably next Tuesday. <laughs> All right. I think that's it for now. I'm, I, I'm thinking if I should mention anything else, but it's been 10 minutes now, so I usually try to keep the Thailand Tuesdays short because um, Tuesday is the day when we work, right? M meeting Mondays are done, so Tuesday is when we get to work, so keeping it short. Um, yeah, other than that, I thought about a few things, but now I forgot all of them because now I'm just all about like a plastic anemia. Uh, Thailand Tuesday without too much a plastic anemia. Next week, I'll take some more notes or I'll get the notes next to me. And then we'll go through all the happenings here in the land of smile. Um, because, oh, actually, yes, actually, there have been a few political updates, which I'm curious to also share and get some feedback on. So next week, less medical, more I don't want to say only politics, but political, economical, and also silly. <laughs> Until then, take care, stay safe. Talk to you, Talk soon. Oh, no!